Bad Viking. You were very bad Viking. Very bad. Strange Horticulture! What's up, what's up everybody, Medikeo? Hey, I know you love a game about plants. I love a game about plants that also has some mystery involved with this. We're going to continue where we left off on day three, Sunday. That's right. We've got some stuff to figure out and solve and do. Uh, all right. Uh, north of Hawkshed, east of Lowick, west of Rustland, and south of Crinkle Crags. So let's go there first. Uh, and see what we can see. Oh, Hawkshed. Alright, so here's Hawkshed right here. Crinkle Crags is up here, so it's north of Hawkshed, which is going to be in this row, and south of Crinkle Crags. West of Rustland. Rustland. Probably covering with the card, aren't I? Rustland. Okay, it's this, this right here. So west of Rustland. So it's got to be here. Or east of Lowick. Lowick is there in this one. So we're perfect right here. Bam! Got him. My eyes are drawn to the silhouette of a grizzled old man standing at the edge of a field. His mind is broken seemingly beyond repair. Vacant eyes fixate on nothing. A whisper of an expression as my gaze sweeps his face, but only a whisper. He raises his arm point. He raises his arm point. I follow his outstretched finger and surprised to find a cluster of wildflowers growing there hidden from view. Let's get him. New plants! Bam! It's never been so satisfying to get some new plants. Let's open this drawer. Put our map away for now. Uh, let's move the red plant to the red plant and then move this blue plant over to the blue plant area, which is this one. A lot of blue ones. A lot of blues. And then we get our shroomy luma ding dongs. All right. Ha, uh, Hellbor. Good morning. Good morning. Wilbur Miller. What's up, man? I'm looking for a plant. Hmm. Lady of. What's it? Something or other? Ah. I'm no green-eyed drear, that's for sure. My mind isn't at all what it used to be. It's the one that's supposed to help with mental decline. All right, a uh, lady of something or other. Let's open a book. We have a lady of something. Lady of summer, maybe? Lady of summer, leaves curl round, lifely, which combine with attractive flower and hardy nature, make this sought after an ornamental plant, aids with conditions of memory. Deterioration associated with old age. Fantastic. So we are looking for the Lady of Summer. And it will be one of these. Wait. Uh, leaves curl round. Delightfully. So maybe probably this one. Sweet smelling dark flower. Oops. Go back. Uh, combined with an attractive flower and hardy nature. It doesn't say anything about the smell. These leaves don't really curl. So I'm so I'm thinking it's this one. That's what I'm thinking. Because they get curly leaves. Yeah, we'll go with that. Bam! Lady of Summer. And we got a fennet. Let's get these labels out. Go get the Lady of Summer and label. Go purple. L A D Y of S U M M E R. Lady of Summer. What's your tag? Oh, did I not? Did I not type it? Lady of Summer. There we go. All right, that's better. That's better. All right, uh, we have nowhere to go. So for now, exploring is out of the question. 
David, my man. They're saying the Arda has been killed. I know a lot of people don't trust that sisterhood, but it seemed to me that Arda always looked out for the less fortunate. We just got a letter. The cold is too much to bear beyond the gap. I was forced to turn back. I would advise against it. But if you are determined to explore a great gable, be sure to take precautions. Knowing you, I'm sure you'll have a plant up your sleeve that can keep you warm should the weather turn against you. Warmest regards, Amos Duncan. Alright, we got some exploring to do. Let's back out of there. That was very uh, crazy. Uh, great Gable. Great Gable. There it is. After several hours of arduous hiking and scrambling, I am still some distance from the summit. I am freezing cold and ready to head home. I should do the sensible thing and turn back down the mountain, unless I pull out my brimlock. Let's find some brimlock. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Butterdale. That sounds like a delicious plant. All right, brimlock. Those suffering from hypothermia can be rescued by a draught made from draught, draught made from using leaves of brimlock plant. It has a warming effect that protects against extreme cold. When conditions are just right in the cold, winter brimlock produces small yellow flowers. The leaves are waxy and tough. Small yellow flowers. I would go. Oh, that's great root. Uh, small yellow flowers. So let's start here. Let's start here. Smooth, waxy leaves. So these are the leaves that might not be producing the flowers because we're not in the right conditions. Uh, smooth, waxy. Uh, uh, Brimlock, maybe? No, those are not small and wonderful. I'm assuming it's that. I have to believe. I have to believe in myself as as me that this is the appropriate plant. Oops, shit. Ah, oh, perfect. I'm not going to die of hypothermia. Brim lock. And since you produce yellow flowers, we will put um, a yellow label on you. Brimlock. Cool. Uh, collect plant. What do we have here? You look uh, kind of drab, like a weird, like a weird, sad sunflower. Weird, sad sunflower. That's what you're called now. Bonk. All right. Good. Good. Norman Lee. This plant is cur. It has brought me nothing but sorrow. Please take it. I want nothing more to do with it. Well, thanks for giving me the cursed plant. Thanks. Uh, that looks like more like a fungi than a plant. Got a nice little collection there. Collection going there. Neat. Simone Green. Hellbore? Always a pleasure, my feline friend. I hope he hasn't been nibbling the plants again. No, he's been pretty good. I have a favor to ask. You owe me for the hours I spent digging out the information on those plants. Sure. I've been burning the midnight oil again and could use some common trouts. And I know where to find it. All right. According to Grayson's Herbology, it grows in abundance on pipe, red pike. Cool. I'll come by the day after tomorrow to collect it. I have business in Sederberg in the meantime. All right, so we're going to red pike. Here, take this. Common traps. So let's go to red pike. I enjoy a pleasant stroll up the fell. The going is easy, the weather agreeable, and the views majestic. I do not have to look hard to find what I'm after. New plan! Red Pike. 
It's all green. Not sure why it's red. But let's take a peek at it real quick. No flowers, sparse leaves. Okay, so we know this one's red pike. So let's put this here, right? Eh. Eh. Um, it's red pike. So let's do yellow because the other ones that are more green are yellow as well. Red. Blah, blah. Red pike. Put that there. Map. Map in there. Put this. Do I have red pike in here? Ooh, hold on. No, it's not in here. So I'll get that after I give that to her. So good thing I labeled it. Hello! We're on a grain! When you walk on the couch, I find it pays up hold a certain image. If going to be accused of performing witchcraft anyway, it doesn't have to put on a bit of a show every now and then. Let the bunters know what I'm capable of sort of thing. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Good job, Verona. So what would you like? Long story short, I may have threatened to turn a small boy into a toad and the little bugger called my bluff. Oh, don't look at me like that. You know what little boys are like. I do. I can assure you he deserves to be turned into a toad. Anywho, I think a little display is needed to discourage this sort of behavior in the future. Have you got any shimmer lung? Whoa. Let's find out if we have any sh shimmer lung. Shimmer lung. Shimmer lung. Uh, oh, it's these little, uh, bloop, 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 those guys. All right, uh, I'm sure we have some of those for you, my dear. Uh, we will get right on it. Um, do we have any? The dry stem of the shimmerlong burns very brightly, noisily setting off. Yeah, flowers grow wrapped in large, ridged leaves. Small red berries. No. Those are little flowers on there, right? Yeah, those are little flowers. Uh, no. 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 Do I have it? This, maybe? Pleasant scent. The leaves have stiff ribs. There's the things. Ah, uh, yes. I believe that's shimmer lung. Right? That was it. Yes. Okay. Shimmer lung, indeed. There we go. Cool. We got candlewood. Ah, uh, this. Shimmer lung. We'll give you uh, blue. Purple. Purple. Uh, S H I M M E R L U N G Shimmer Lung. Cool, 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 cool. What do we got? Ruth Douglas. It's a beautiful plant that I've been looking for my all over, but nobody seems to have any. Mmm, something. Monk brew? I'm not sure. I'm not sure, dearie. I do not know that you shouldn't touch the. I do know that you shouldn't touch the leaves, though. Okay. Possible monk something. Let's go to the contents. Meek do. Probably that, maybe. Let's go to Meek do. Uh, beautiful flowers made of smaller florets. Make the sod after plant. Care for it. Maybe pleasant looking at, but touching the leaves. Against bare skin will be result in painful sores. Alright, so we're looking for Meek do. Meek. Do beautiful flowers made up of many smaller flowers. I mean, they're kind of big too, though. Though, one, two, three, four, those, it might be these. It might be these. That looks about right. That's 
Only four. But that's got... No, it doesn't. Okay. Hold on real quick. Can we take a look inside these? Assuming it's that. It's gotta be. That's already done. Nothing else over there. Okay. Yeah, I'm going with that. I'm gonna go with these. This awesome red plant. This is Meek Do. Excellent. Meek Do. And then we'll label it. Then we'll put it here. And then we'll go red. Meek Do. Did it again. Meek Do. Because it is red. Oh, look at that. It's the end of the day also. All right. Uh, Well, you know what? That seemed to go by pretty quick. I'm going to do another day. I'm going to do two days. And let's close this up. Let's go take, take, a, take a jaunt to the old man and see if there's anything there. No. Viking views the top of a uh, so-called old man of... Honestan. Never failed to induce awe and wonder. Sadly, there are few people with the leisure to explore its heady, heady heights. Today, it's just me and the sheep. Okie dokie. End of day. Ooh, that card's torn. Time passed a year and then another. The book remained hidden, but out of sight did not mean out of mind. The book was what her thoughts settled on when she rested, when she brooded over when she did her chores, what she pictured when she dreamed. Wonderful. Yeah, so we're gonna turn this into a day three, day four. Day four, Monday. Oh, it is raining. Hellbore, it's raining. Oh, maybe I can find that. I'm not sure how I'll find that. But this must... I'm assuming... That it is right here. <gasps> that is so clever. I love that. It's clever and I'm clever, so... We're right here. Boom! The gentle sound of flowing water, the sunlight through scattered clouds. A rest. Nice. Give me some plants. Boom! Purples and blues. Good thing we put them all on the bottom. Man. Purple. Ish. Blue puffball thing can go there. That's cool. Uh, maybe I'll put this one up here because they're more flowery florets. Alright, neat. Hey, Hellbore. Good morning. It's raining. Did you see that? It is raining. Hey, Keanu Reeves is back. The fox button was no help, I'm afraid. The sisterhood still refused to speak openly with me. Only one thing to do, John Wick. Not that I have the time to pursue it properly. I'm rushed off my feet this week. There's been a body found up at this swine-side stone circle, and apparently it's a grizzly one. Don't suppose you've got anything to help keep my lunch down? Bennett. I'm sure we can find something to help you keep your lunch down. Bennett. We got that last time in day three. Chewing the tough root of this plant is said to ease gastric distress and reduce anxiety. It has a long, it has long, soft leaves. All right, long, soft leaves. I wonder if it has any flowers on it. We got some searching to do. Those are all good. Move you over so we can see you. Let's do this real quick. Quick. Unpleasant scent? No. Bright red flowers grow with it. No. Thin stems. Stems are kind of. This. This looks kind of good. Creamy, colorful flowers. They smell wonderful. 
long soft leaves. So I'm assuming it'll tell me that there's long soft leaves. Leaves are quite soft. And they're very long. I'm gonna go with this. This seems to be the the, the one. For me at least. Cool. P H E N N E T. Which frog? We'll do yellow. P H E N N E T. Bennett. Cool. Budding. David! What do you got for me, man? Morning. Verona Green handed me this for you. She seemed in a good mood. A letter! We just got a letter. Alright, Verona Green. I meant to tell you this yesterday, but it slipped my mind. I discovered a plant on a recent trip to Grisdale. Grisdale? Forest. Just northeast of Rustland. It was like nothing I've ever seen before. I would have brought it back with me if the sisterhood had given me a moment alone, but they s seem overly protective lately. Well, we are going to go on a trip. I'm going to get this plant. All right, so we're going to... Uh, Grizzle, just northeast of Rustland. Grizzledale Forest and Rustland. Grizzledale, Grizzledale Forest. Northeast of Rustland. Rustland's here. So we're going to go northeast. Cool. From the moment I step off the road, I, can, I can't shake the feeling I'm being watched. Suddenly, I find my way blocked by three women wearing green cloaks and holding short elm bows. Oh, boy. Nobody may wander freely through the forest by order of the Arda, says the leader of the trio. I turn to walk back, but then again, I have a few tricks up my sleeve. Mellow Glow. All right, let's put the map back. Let's find some uh, Mellow Glow. Hopefully we have it. We do. Mellow Glow. Sharp thorns that protect it from predators. All right, so I think this might be it. This has thorns. Turquoise flower. Uh, no, it's visible, possibly hidden from sight. Blah, 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 blah. I think that's the only one that we have that has thorns. I wonder what this thing is. Oh, which plant was cursed? I forget. Maybe it was this one? I forget. Mellow Glow. Collect. Uh, let's get this out here. And where did you go? Here we go. We'll do uh, purple. Hello. Hello. Okay, cool. Collect. Ooh, that looks tasty. I guess. I don't know. Some golden berries on there. Not bad. Hello! Face Swift we meet again. I'm afraid. The camphor you gave me is helping me sleep, and I'm very grateful for it, but the visions are as strong as ever. Hmm. Yes, continue. The woman in the jade mask appears in my dreams every night. She screams at me, but I do not know why, and behind her, that presence is always there, dark and dreadful. I don't know what to do. The dreams feel like a warning that I don't understand, a mosaic of color that refuses to come into focus. Some part of me wants to stare down that abyss, but I'm afraid. Ah, so now we have a choice. Choices. Uh, Auguria, what do you do? Light blue flower, blah, blah, blah. Uh, when burned, incense made from this woody stem can enhance psychic abilities, strengthening the clarity of visions and prophecies. All right. Or 
Candlewood. Produces red flower that provides a shielding effect, protecting against all manner of afflictions of the mind. I'm gonna go with the Aguria. Aguria. That seems pretty cool, because I think this is more like a psychic-y kind of prophetic kind of thing. I don't know if you can choose the wrong thing here, or if, like, this is where your ending changes. But, uh, you know, we'll see. Light blue flowers with rounded tufts of gentle lamb's wool characterize this plant. All right, this looks pretty like a lemon dandy, not that. Uh... This one. This one, soft pale blue flowers. Gotta be it. Auguria. Auguria. Cool. A G U R I A. Auguria! Wait, what? Auguria. There we go. That's better. I can type, I swear. Oh, okay. Margaret Elsbeth. We don't come to Undermere often, but I heard about your shop and I said to Francis, we simply must pay a visit. Well, welcome. I appreciate that. It's a wonderful breath of life in an otherwise dreary town. It is quite dreary, not a lot of sun. I'm the green-fingered one, and it's not really his cup of tea, but I persuaded him the trip would do him good, and besides, he'll be wanting to take a boat out on the lake. Cool. Shame about this awful weather, though. You must come to Sizerg. Sizerg? Sizerg. We have a small library with some books on plants that my grandfather acquired many years ago. Ooh, cool. I'm sure they will be of interest to you. A horticulturist such as yourself. That is me. And let's put the book back for a minute. You're cordially invited to Scizor... 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 Castle. Lord and... Oh, Lord and Lazy. They have... Oh, God, I can't... I can't... No. Whatever. Let's go. All right, so we're heading towards Scizerg. Scizerg to get some Scizerp. Uh, Scizerg Castle. Let's go. I'm greeted enthusiastically by Lady Elspeth herself. She is very talkative and has many questions on horticulture that I do my best to answer as she takes me on a tour of the gardens. Oh, you must take a sample of this back with you, she exclaims, pointing out a plant that I do not recognize. But before I can stop to take a look, she already whisked me on to the next. And this one, too, she says. I'm quite exhausted by the time we make it to the library, and I don't have enough time to make as thorough a study as I would like. Nevertheless, I am able to find an interesting entry that I note down. Don't forget these, Lady Elizabeth cries as I make to leave. She thrusts the plants from the gardens into my hands, and I thank her warmly. Fever kiss. Lady Elsbeth giving me the fever kiss. Uh, all right. New plants. Those look crazy cool. This one does in particular. All right. This one is going to go this way. Over here. And then this one is super dark and dreary. Um, you're gonna go... End. Because you're special. Put you up here. And then we need to put this one over here. They're buddies. Yeah, that's fine. I should switch those two around. So they're not pollinating each other. Uh, okay. Cool. Cool, map, done. This, done. Hellbore, I'm gonna hit the button. Don't get scared. Philip Shaw. Mushroom. Red spores. Moves in the dark. That's all I've got, any ideas? I actually do. I can probably give this to you without um, reading the book. Uh, that one is red spores. But I need to look at this one, Wandering View. 
No, it's funny, but in fact, underside is somewhat sharp. Red spores protrude from the caps. I'm pretty sure they're red. With the wandering beard is the one that moves in the dark. Wandering view. Uh, fingers bane, so-called fungus can move slowly in the dark. Perfect, here you go. Wandering view. Cool. Which is good there. Bong. Selena Scott. I need a sip of coffee. They're saying Black Comey is haunted now. Bradley Miller told me he saw the ghost of a huge deer, antlers and all, but then Bradley Miller also says he can talk to squirrels. Either way, there's something evil in them hills, and I'm not taking any chances. Sure. Awful what happened to that poor young man up in Swinesdale. Swineside. Did I go up there and check that out? I've come for some stinking mount cap. Okay. Sunset Mount Cap. There we are. There we are. Type of fungus which domed cap, sometimes called stinking mount cap, as a result of its unpleasant odor. It smells strongly of soured milk, bad enough to make the eyes water. I'm assuming this is it. Sunset Mount Trap. Mount Cap. Sunset Mount Cap. Cool. Ah, Henshinarnak. Let's label this. Yellow. Sunset. Mount. Cap. Sunset Mount Cap. Cool. I want to take a trip. Uh, real quick. It is the end of the day. And that might be a good time to take a trip. I want to go see... Did I go up to that mountain? Black Comb, that's the haunted place. Sad Gill. Horn Crag. Ooh, White Sear Cave. Kinda cool. Setterberg. Crinkle Crag. I don't remember what she called the place. I thought it started with an S. I'm looking for the mountains, but maybe, um... Maybe it's not there. Size guard. Uh, oh well. Whatever. Uh, so, oh, sad kill. Um... I want to go in this cave and just because I want to just see if I if there's stuff you can just find oh I did I did find a thing nice uh thin crack runs down the rock face widening as it nears the ground just wide enough for a man to slip through but there's a problem a large boulder blocks the entrance too heavy to move do I have farmers worry we need to open this up it's not the end of the day yet we gotta figure out if we have this Farmer's worry. Let's see if I have it. A spongy mushroom with potent ability is only safe to consume in small quantities. Grants enough strength for short periods at the expense of severe fatigue once the effect is worn off. Um. Red spores. I don't think I have it yet. Or maybe this one. Oozing from its underside. No. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I'm supposed to be there yet. Alright, so let's put this back. That is the end of day four. Day three, day four are in the books. And uh, some strange brews and strange horticulture is certainly brewing here today. Ah, Hellbore. Good night, my man. I'll see you in the next day. Alright, let's end this and see what the card bestows upon us.
She lives alone in the castle to the northwest of the abbey. She buried her husband there. Husband three miles to the east where the Everhart grows. At 15, her mother, strong, dependable, loving, was struck down by typhoid. The girl drew inward as her father turned to drink. Okay. Well, that's, that's tough. That's a tough situation right there. Day three, day four in the books. On to day five. All right, so that's where we are going to end it today. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like, subscribe, do all that cool stuff you're supposed to do. We're almost at 600 subs, which is absolutely amazing. Super psyched about that. 580, 20 more to go, and we will uh, do it. So we'll catch you in the next episode, everybody. Peace.